Hello learners, I am Garima Vasti and today we are going to talk about a topic from course number 503 which is standard language. So what is it that makes a language different from standard language? When we talk about language, it can be formal language, informal language, colloquial language, dialect and it differs the language we speak at home, the language we speak at school or at our work or when we are amongst our friends. So there are different types of languages. So what is it that makes a language a standard language? Now, standard language is something which is a language used for official purposes. If we talk about the world scenario, then English is the standard language for most of the world. It is the highly spoken and used language. And the second most popular language is French. So in most of the European countries, the standard language is French. When we talk about India, then there are two standard languages recognized at the national level. One is English and the second one is Hindi. But these standard languages differ from a particular state to another. So if we talk about southern India, then different South Indian states have different standard languages. Kerala has Malayalam as its standard language, whereas Tamil Nadu has Tamil as its standard language. Andhra Pradesh and Telangana will have Telugu. Bengal, that is Kolkata, will have Bengali. So standard languages are, now these are only one languages, which is that there might be more than one language spoken in that particular area and which is there in the Indian society. We live in a multilingual world where languages are different in every 20 kilometers, you find another language. Now these are different dialects, these are various versions of another language, or there are many official languages, many old languages which are used. And yet the standard language is only one of a particular state or two of a particular state. So there are not all the languages which are spoken in that state that are recognized as standard languages, but only one or two. So what is it that is the concept of standard language we are going to talk about in today's lecture? Now, a language that has been chosen to call a standard language from other existing languages of that linguistic area or society. So generally we take that in a particular society, in a particular area, there are different languages that are spoken and from those languages we select one or two. Now there are very different and varied criteria for choosing the standard languages. It is the popularity of it amongst the masses, it has political alliances, it's different different aspects play in. If we see historically, and if I take the example of India, then in the olden days when there was a Brahmanic society, then Sanskrit was a official and standard language. I'll say standard now. Standard language was Sanskrit for a Brahmanic society. Then came Arabs and they ruled the India. So Arabian became the standard language of our society. Then people from other states came and then during the Mughal Empire, Persian was our standard language. And then you, as you all know, came the Britishers and English was chosen as our standard language. Today, we recognize Hindi and English as standard languages in India. So you can see that the standard languages change according to the society, according to who's in power, right? Because during the Brahmanic times, Sanskrit, that is the Brahmins were in power who were talking in Sanskrit mostly. So that was the standard language. And when the Arabs came and the people, Mughals came, then their languages like Arabic and Persia came into existence. So whoever is in power, their language generally is seen to be the standard languages. Britishers brought their own language, which is English, and it still has repercussions. And we still, because we, are, we were the colonials 
of Britishers, so we still hold English as our standard language. So, Hindi and English are both official and standard languages of our country. When we talk about standard languages, there is a certain standardization process that a language has to go through. So, what is this process? What are these stages according to which language becomes a standardized language? So, when we talk about standardization of a particular language, then we talk about one, two, three and four processes. So, in those four processes, one is that language has to has a certain status in the society. For example, a lot of your political talks are happening in that particular language. Hindi gained prominence because during freedom, most of our leaders were speaking Hindi. So, Gandhiji used Hindi as his language. He used many other languages, but Hindi came as the forefront language, which was um, against the Britishers. Other than English, Hindi was seen as the other language which held a status in the society to an extent where we could say that it was a standard language. Now, first is that this language has to have a certain status in the society. And when we talk about these languages, even if I take the example of Hindi or English, there's a certain variety of Hindi and English that we are talking about. For example, right now, Khadi Boli in Hindi is what nearly we talk about the standard language of Hindi, whereas Avadhi and Braj are somehow not that standardized, right? We don't, we consider Khadi Boli as the standard language. And similarly, when we talk about English, it's not other type of English. It is the English, North American English or Australian English. And if you know that there are different Englishes, the examples are different, the spellings are different. So, for example, we talk about British English and mostly the English talked in the areas around Oxford and Cambridge. Because if you remember, then these were the hubs, the educational hubs. Still the Oxford University and the Cambridge University exist there. So the language, the English spoken around that area became the standard language of the day at that time. And I was talking about the difference in spellings. So you might have seen this already noticed that when you type in your computer C-O-L-O-U-R, it is an error. Color is shown as an error, that is British English. But because our computers are programmed in US English, American English, there the spelling is C-O-L-O-R. And when you do that, the Microsoft computer shows that yes, the spelling is right. So there are different versions of a language and what version is our standardized language is chosen after a particular process of standardization. So the second stage of this process is that this chosen variety, this is a variety of language that we have chosen now, right? This variety will have a grammar written on its rules. Now this particular English will have grammar. How are the sound systems formed? How are the words formed? How is a sentence structure formed? The grammar is written on this language. The dictionaries, the vocabulary, words for this, different different words are made for this particular language. And you might be aware of the fact that every year more and more words are added into the English dictionary according to their usage. For example, the recent entry was it's a Hindi origin word. It's in fact a colloquial word we used to use, which is Jugaad. Jugaad is now in the Oxford Dictionary. It has the status of an English word now because of its popularity and because of its usage. So English now has included this as a word in its dictionary. So this is how once a language is chosen, it has a status, then we have its rules written, its grammar written, and various kinds of dictionary made. 
then this standard language also becomes the language of media, administration, judiciary and formal education. You might have seen when we talk about media specifically, Bollywood plays such a huge role film industry when we talk about in India, we are not talking about other regional forms. We are talking about Bollywood and it's mostly Hindi. It's, it's Hindi. It's not mostly Hindi. It is Hindi. So it is located in Mumbai, Maharashtra and you know the languages there are Marathi. Yet the movies we produce are in Hindi language because that is the standard language. So it becomes a standard language becomes the language of media. The news are there in Hindi and English. Now we have regional channels which have regional news. But if we look at Doordarshan, then mostly they have also started including but mostly the standard languages become your language of media. They become the ling languages of your administration. I've already told you that official languages in administration and judiciary for all government purposes are either Hindi or English. And we talk about standard languages in the formal education system. These are the languages which are going to be taught to you. So, for example, in Rajasthan, lot of languages are spoken. There is Marwari, there are different kinds of Marwari. And there are different languages there. But the standard language there is Hindi. So the children are supposed to learn Hindi. They are taught Hindi and slowly and gradually they are taught English whenever the second language is introduced. So now education has to be imparted in the mother tongue so after the primary level with that is the students gradually are taken towards the standard language which is Hindi and generally if you see the scenario then there are very less places where they are actually taught in Marwari it is generally only and only Hindi and then after some time English. So standard language is also the language of your education of your formal education and when you talk about formal education then you also say that now our textbooks are going to be made in this language. We are going to make our materials, our electronic media materials. Right now I am talking to you in English. English is our standard language. You also have lectures in Hindi which is another standard language. Right? We have chosen these two languages. And then the last process of this stage, this process of standardization is that this particular language will get the opportunity to be developed, right? It will include more words, it will replace the other words. So <clears throat> earlier there was this old colloquial English which was used, this was this Shakespearean English which we sometimes call and those words have been replaced now gradually and we are including more words. English is one such language which includes more and more words. So even Hindi which we talk about these days is not the pure Hindi. We have included words from other languages like Urdu. Sanskrit always has been a mother and so there are many other languages which the words from which are used in that language and it becomes a part of that language. Now those words which are taken are now very much part of Hindi language or English language and hence after all these four stages, after these stages of standardization we talk about a language becoming a standard language. So when we talk about standardization process, there is also a process of social exploitation. They are coming together, right? So any language that gets chosen as the standard language out of the other languages spoken in a particular area, state, country, whatsoever, that particular language has political power. The Prime Minister of India speaks in Hindi because that is the standard language. It has corporate power because those languages are used in corporates, not just government but also private. English is mostly used in all the private firms across India. And that particular language has other necessary powers. We see how English 
has a particular power. Even we don't realize this, but people who have their language other than Hindi, they realize the power that Hindi holds. Or, for example, other South Indian languages, they realize the powers that Hindi has as a standard language. So, there is this process of social exploitation which comes in contact with the standardization process. And this chosen language, our standard language of a particular area, has many powers. It holds a place in a society where it has many benefits and hence the speaker of that particular language are also benefited from it. So it is a problem sometimes that the level of your English, for example, is considered to be equivalent to your intelligence, right? It's not right, but sometimes it works in that way. So this is somehow a process of social exploitation. And it has happened, it has come in contact because of the standardization process of the English language. And that is why, hence, English holds a particular place in our society, a place of importance. So this is what we talk about when we talk about standard languages. And that is the concept that we discussed today. What is it that when we talk about, what is it we understand when we talk about standard languages? language and uh, this was all for today thank you very much and i'll see you in the next lecture